All right, Trevor, what game are we playing today? Dixit Odyssey. Ooh, nice. Another Dixit game. Yes. Well, we haven't reviewed one yet, but... We've played a couple others before. Yeah. Do you like Dixit Odyssey? Yeah, I do. And why? Because it's the artwork, and it's kind of an ab abstract game, and it's just fun to see the creativity that people come up with. Very abstract and good for groups. Yeah. All right, well, cool. Tell me what it's all about. Well, it's about um, you have cards. Okay. Each person will have six cards. It can play up to 12 people. So each person will draw six cards. I'll just draw six for myself. One, two, three, yeah, okay. Then you'll take a look at these cards, and each card has a kind of weird abstract image. There's no really up or down, usually. And then usually those are don't strange. Make any sense at all. So what you do, <laughs> yeah, is when it comes to your turn, they call it being the storyteller. When it comes to your turn to be the storyteller, you pick one of your cards, and you think of a saying for it. And you can't be too vague, and you can't be too obvious, because if everybody votes for your the card that you put down, you don't get any points. But if nobody votes for it, then you don't get any points either. So, um, like, for this card, you might say, you wouldn't want to do something like Scarecrow and Candyland, because that's completely obvious, and everyone would know that it was your card. But you could do something such as um, Scaredy Sweets, or something like that. And it's still a little obvious, but... I, it's hard to do it on the spot. <laughs> um, so what you'd do is you'd put your card down, and then everyone else would have their six cards, and they'd say, hmm, Scary Sweets, which one of my cards fits Scary Sweets? And usually they probably won't have anything that it would exactly fit it, but they'd pick the closest and put it down. And then it, they all get shuffled and put under um, these slots. Put in position? Yeah. And then on your little player card that each person will have for this. Um, if there's one to six players, you'll have one of these pegs. If there's seven to twelve players, you'll have two pegs. Okay. And these pegs just say, um, tell you which card you guessed. So I would say, hmm, um, I think it was this card because it was, and it was my card. You can't yeah. vote. You can't, <laughs> you, you can't vote when you put down the card, but everyone else will vote. Okay. And so they'll put their vote in, they'll cover it, and then when they say it's time to reveal, they'll reveal and say, okay, I voted for two. And then whatever everyone else voted for, they would get that. So put a bunch of cards out there. Yeah, so I'll just put the rest of my cards out here. saying there's... Suppose that's what people put down. Yeah. Or you could say things like, my worst nightmare. Exactly. Or that one time I woke up in a cold sweat. Or... Yeah, Scaredy Sweets is... Probably really obvious for that. The happiest but. moment of my life. <laughs> it doesn't look very happy to me. So, my card was number two. And I was the one that gave this um, thing and put it down, gave the story. And so, one person voted for two, so that means I automatically get three points because someone voted for my card. But again, if everybody voted for your card, you get no points. Right. And if nobody voted for my card, then I would get no points. Okay. But they would also get three points because they picked the right card. Now, all the other cards that people voted for, they don't get three points because they voted for the correct card. However, um, this person voted for card four, and this person voted for card four. So whoever put down card four tricked some people, and they'll get however many votes they got. So they got two votes, so they'd get two points. Sweet. So you can score if someone's voting on your card, too, if you mm -hmm. put in a good match. Up to three points. Okay. So the most points you can get in a round is... Six. Sweet. So let's see more of those cards. So you just keep going around and around. Everybody takes yeah. different turns being a storyteller. When you, when you uh, place your card, you'll draw a card and you'll get a new card. And each one has just. I just love the creativity of this game, and it's pretty. So it really makes you think and come up with some creative answers, and <laughs> yeah, and it's just kind of bizarre fun, huh? Yeah. Well, what would you rate Dixit Odyssey? I'd give it a four point five. Awesome. And do you uh, want to play more Dixit games? Because I know they keep I, making yeah. them. Yeah, I think expansions would be really fun just because there's 
we've played through all these cards as a family, so I know what most of them look like. I mean, I wouldn't be able to recall them, but if I saw the card, I'd be like, oh yeah, I've seen that one before. Yeah, but you can but, make up something new every time. and Yeah, and so it's just fun. All right, thanks, Joe. Yep.